Hi friends, it's me. It's a different kind of video today. Um, just because I felt like, hmm, I should probably show my face this time. Um, it's never been like a conscious decision to not show my face. It's just been easier for me to show you what's in front of me. Um, and I'm realizing now that everything will be mirrored probably. We'll see. It's I'm not gonna mess with it, it is what it is. But anyway, today I wanted to show you um, <clears throat> what I have been carrying around my house, which is my stationary, um, I don't know, like setup. Um, yeah, it's. I'll think of a name, but it's basically what I carry around the house, um, my notebooks and my systems, and yeah. So I'm going to start with this guy right here. This is uh, a Hobonichi cover, and I believe it's the A5. I think this came out like a few years ago, and I just now discovered it, um, I believe last year. And it took me a lot of time to hunt this down. And I asked around everywhere I could on Instagram and Facebook groups. And finally, um, I believe her name is Marjorie. Um, she was able to find a listing for this uh, cover um, and she bought it for me and she sent it to me. So thank you so much, friend, uh, because this is beautiful. This is, I, I think her name is Mina. Sorry, I'll butcher the name, so I just won't even say it. I'll put it in the comments um, and I'll put a picture of what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, isn't this beautiful? If you know me, you know I love yellow and I love patterns. So this is just right up my alley. <laughs> Excuse my puppies. He's like very happy. Um, so yeah, so I don't have a Hobonichi because this year I thought I wasn't going to do planners. Um, but I did go ahead and buy this Mexican uh, brand for a planner and it's by Mr. Rouge and I actually have this in my shop as well. Um, this specific model comes in four different colors, I believe. So this mustard, yellow, a green, I think a blue also, and then like a beige or like a gray color. <clears throat> anyway, and the, the paper surprisingly is fun to pen friendly. So I've been having a lot of fun with that right now. I'm like making lists and whatever and it's undated. So even if I don't use all the weeks or whatever, I can use the paper for writing, for note taking, which is what I have been using. And so far, this is all that this cover is housing. It's just the, the book. There's plenty of room for like ephemera or, you know, all these little pockets. There's even this like bigger pocket here. So I need to really start using this and take advantage of all the, the, um, the space. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. I think I would probably love to spray this with like a nice fragrance. Um, so it will always smell good. Probably a perfume because perfumes last a lot longer. Um, so yeah, I may just do that. So that every time I pick it up and I smell it, it smells good. Um, I carry around this little guy. Like you've heard me talk about this guy before. This is a Franklin Christoph passport uh, or pocket notebook cover. Um, and the reason why I'm carrying it around so much is because I'm trying to finish uh, my first field notes. Um, this guy, I started it in May of last year and it's gonna be almost a, a year already and I'm still not done with it. So, and then I subscribed, I think I mentioned it before, but I subscribed to Field Notes and now I have way too many pocket notebooks that I know what to do with them. So, and then I also have another, one of the Franklin Christoph uh, Passport Notebooks. I have one of them as well. Um, that I'm also writing at the same time. And then I have two others that are just sitting there. But yeah, it's kind of cute. Um, <clears throat> so that, oops, so that's that. And then this last one that I want to show you, and it's, it's really bothering me that this is going to be mirrored. So I'm going to see if I can mirror the video. We'll see. Anyway, this last one is... Um, by, I'm gonna put her Instagram username in the comments, but her name's Mackenzie. 
Uh, she is in the pen addict slack, which is how I found her work. Somebody else posted that uh, she had made uh, a similar pouch for them, but it was in a cool gray color with a, um, or it was a blue cover with a gray interior and it looked really good. So I asked her if she could make me a yellow cover uh, with a floral interior, which she did. And then she shipped it to me. Um, I can't remember the price, but it was really, really like great. It's got a, a large pocket back here and then two other pockets here um no side pockets there are two other pockets here uh rooms for pens or pencils and yeah so it's pretty roomy i have starting from the outside i have a pencil in here just because um i think this could probably no it doesn't fit in inside where what i'm where i'm actually holding pens so i put it out here I have another pocket notebook because this one, my plan is to use it to not document, well, in a way document um, my house plants. Uh, just, I wanna know what, what kind of plant it is, uh, how much water it needs, because I'm not the one who takes care of them. Uh, it's actually my partner. So whenever he's out of town, like right now, I'm just like clueless, like what do I do, you know? They're just there. <laughs> and then the other uh, guy that I have here is this Oasis notebook from Itoya. And this this was probably one of my first little notebooks when I entered like the fountain pen world. And I used to just doodle and write like, look at that hand. Like I was trying out different um, uh, handwriting, uh, I guess methods or just forms of handwriting. Like I used to, do a lot of my old, just regular uh, script. But then I decided that I really liked how cursive really looked and especially with fountain pen. So I've stuck with that. And I'm pretty like, this is what I have left to to go on this little notebook. So I am I use it for doodles for any time I'm just like restless and I just need to write or just doodle something. I take it out and um, I write in that little notebook. So there's that lives there. And then I have this um, leather um, pen holder. So it fits, I guess it's like, you can either do two or one, but I like to do all three at the same time because it fits. So I have two ball points here and then I have a fountain pen. Um, and then that right now is living in this little pocket. So it fits really well. And yeah, and then in my uh, pouch, I have a plotter. I have a random little notebook that I don't really know what it's doing there. It's just, I don't think I had a home for it, so it's there. And then I have this, um, well, let me, I can't, I don't wanna move the camera because I had a hard time setting it up. So I have this um, uh, fountain pen roll that my friend Rachel gave me a while back. And I just, and it's like puppies, um, puppy print and puppy paws. So I put a few of my currently inked pens in here and I just put this, uh, and I just put the pen roll in here and it really fits really well. So I have uh, three currently inked pens um, some of them is because I've been trying a few different inks and I keep like inking up a new pen and I don't have a home for it or I, I don't want to forget that it's inked and they get moldy. So yeah, and then of course my plotter lives in here. So, um, and a lot of you have been asking for like another video or a video update of the plotter, but it's basically a lot of the same. Like I mainly use it for work. Uh, it's very, very helpful. But yeah, so I'll see about doing another video of those um, so that I can show you um, how I'm using it. So yeah, this little guy lives in here and it fits really well. So basically, <clears throat> all of these things move with me through the day. Like if I'm at, if I'm at my uh, work desk, then I just take them all with me and I put them next to me. 
And sometimes that's what helps me focus, which is this emotional support stationery. Um, I just like knowing that it's there, that it's next to me in case I need it. I'm not like, oh, I hope, I wish my, my notebooks were with me so that I can write. Um, I just know they're there. And then once I'm done working, I move to my living room and I bring them all with me. I've turned on, turned on that TV and I sit them next to me. And sometimes I just write a little bit or I go through my agenda, my planner, check off dates, check off my tracker. Um, and then write about things that come to mind that I want to do for the shop or ideas or like maybe um, YouTube video ideas. So yeah, it's been it's been fun discovering um, things with my stationery and what I have and what I might want to have. So yeah, um, it'll be different once I go back to the office, like to see will I be carrying all of this with me? You know, commuting on the train with all of this. Where am I gonna put it? Because I usually only have like I don't even know what I used to carry like. A backpack? No, like my backpack would stay in the office and that was only used whenever I had to bring my computer home. So I really didn't carry, I think I just carried like a small duffel bag with my gym clothes and that was it. And then my lunch. So I'll have to find a bag for my stationery. That's something exciting. So yeah, friends, that's all I wanted to show you today. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I hope, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to mirror the video if I can figure it out and excuse my really long hair. It's really long and it's, it's, it's fun. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my little setup. Is it something you think you could use? Any ideas of how else I can use the pockets? Like, I think I've, I don't want to make it like super bulky. So I think I'm good, you know, but there's more real estate to take advantage of and even here so we'll see and what do you think about the perfume idea would you do that or would you advise against it any experiences let me know friends thank you so much appreciate you all bye bye